case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1978, the United States Supreme Court heard the case of Burks v. United States, which centered around the double jeopardy clause and the idea that a person cannot be tried twice for the same crime, even if their initial conviction was overturned and a new trial ordered. The only just remedy in such a case was for the court to direct a judgment of acquittal rather than ordering a retrial. This lawsuit arose after a defendant was convicted of bank robbery with a dangerous weapon, but had their conviction overturned due to insufficient evidence supporting their insanity defense. The case was sent back to the district court to decide if the defendant should be acquitted or if a new trial was warranted. The defendant argued that a retrial would violate the double jeopardy clause. Despite this argument, the court denied their motion for a judgment of acquittal and the jury found the defendant guilty once again. As a result, the defendant filed for a new trial, stating that the evidence was still insufficient to support the verdict, but the district court denied this motion as well. The Supreme Court ultimately held that the case should be sent back to the district court to either enter a directed verdict of acquittal or order a new trial, if necessary, with the government presenting additional evidence to support their case. In doing so, the Supreme Court overruled prior decisions that suggested a defendant waived their right to a judgment of acquittal by moving for a new trial, thereby clarifying the limits of the Double Jeopardy Clause. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.